We are tech hub, the home of technology concepts. In the dynamic and often turbulent landscape of information security and cybersecurity, proactive defense is paramount. While firewalls and intrusion detection systems stand as formidable guardians, the reality remains. Breaches and disruptions are inevitable. It's not a matter of if, but when. This is where the art and science of contingency planning emerge, transforming a reactive posture into a resilient, forward-thinking strategy. Contingency planning is more than just a checklist. It's a testament to an organization's commitment to safeguarding its vital assets and ensuring business continuity in the face of adversity. At its core, contingency planning is about organizational preparedness, anticipating potential disruptions, preparing methodical responses, and ensuring critical operations can continue despite adverse events. Whether confronting natural disasters, cyber attacks, or system failures, a robust contingency plan provides a roadmap for recovery while minimizing damage to operations, reputation, and financial standing. Organizations must anticipate the unexpected, meticulously crafting a roadmap to navigate the aftermath of a security incident. It's about empowering your organization to not only survive but thrive amidst disruption. A robust contingency plan acts as a beacon, illuminating the path to recovery, minimizing downtime, and preserving the integrity of critical data. The journey begins with a fundamental understanding and identification of critical business functions. This isn't merely about listing processes. It's about discerning the lifeblood of your organization. What operations are essential for survival? What data is indispensable? Consider the intricate web of dependencies that sustain your business. To achieve this, a thorough business impact analysis, BIA, is crucial. This process involves mapping dependencies, assessing impact, prioritizing functions, and defining recovery time objectives, RTOs, and recovery point objectives, RPOs. A business impact analysis, BIA, is a systematic process that helps organizations understand the potential impact of disruptions to their critical business functions. It's a cornerstone of contingency planning, providing the insights needed to develop effective recovery strategies. Here's a detailed look at the key steps involved in the BIA. Mapping dependencies involves identifying the resources, including IT systems, applications, data, personnel, and third-party services that support each critical business function. For example, consider an e-commerce company. The order processing function depends on a web server to host the online store, a database server to store product and customer information, and a payment gateway to process transactions. Others are shipping system to coordinate deliveries, internet connectivity to communicate with customers and suppliers, and customer service representatives to handle inquiries. Assessing impact involves evaluating the potential consequences of a disruption to each critical business function. Impacts can be financial, operational, reputational, or regulatory. An example. For the e-commerce company, the impact of disruption to order processing could include financial loss from lost sales revenue for each hour the system is down. Operational disruption includes delays in fulfilling orders, leading to customer dissatisfaction. A reputational damage would include negative reviews and loss of customer trust. That while regulatory fines are the potential penalties for failing to meet service level agreements or comply with data protection regulations. Prioritizing functions are based on the assessed impacts. Business functions are prioritized to determine the order in which they need to be recovered. Critical functions with the highest potential impact are given the highest priority. An example for an e-commerce company might be to prioritize its business functions. Order processing must be recovered first, due to its direct impact on revenue and customer satisfaction. Shipping needs to be restored quickly to ensure timely delivery of orders. Customer service is important for maintaining customer relationships, but can be partially handled manually in the short term. Marketing can be restored later, with minimal immediate impact on operations. The recovery time objective (RTO) is the maximum acceptable time that a business function can be unavailable before causing significant harm to the organization. An example for an e-commerce company might be to set order processing to two hours to minimize lost sales. 
Set shipping to four hours to avoid significant delivery delays. Set customer service to 24 hours and marketing to 48 hours. The recovery point objective, RPO, is a maximum acceptable amount of data loss that can occur due to a disruption. For example, an e-commerce company might set the RPO for order processing to 15 minutes to minimize the loss of order data. The product catalog is set to one hour as product information doesn't change frequently. Set the customer data to one hour and marketing data to 24 hours. By following these steps, organizations can gain a clear understanding of their critical business functions and the potential impact of disruptions. This knowledge is essential for developing effective contingency plans that ensure business resilience and minimize the adverse effects of unexpected events. This meticulous identification process serves as a bedrock upon which a resilient contingency plan is built. It transforms abstract threats into tangible challenges, allowing for targeted mitigation strategies. Contingency plans must encompass a spectrum of potential disruptions, from cyber attacks and data breaches to natural disasters and human error. This demands a holistic approach, incorporating incident response plans, disaster recovery plans, business continuity plans, and communication plans. Each plan should be meticulously documented, regularly tested, and rigorously updated to reflect the evolving threat landscape and organizational changes. Regular simulations and tabletop exercises are not just best practices, but essential training grounds, honing the team's ability to respond effectively under pressure. Beyond the technical intricacies, contingency planning fosters a culture of resilience. It empowers your team to face adversity with confidence, knowing they have a well-defined plan to guide them. It transforms fear into preparedness, uncertainty into action. This proactive mindset not only mitigates risks, but also enhances trust among stakeholders, demonstrating commitment to safeguarding their interests. In the realm of information security and cybersecurity, contingency planning is not merely a technical exercise. It's a strategic imperative. It's an investment in resilience, a testament to your organization's commitment to safeguarding its future. By mastering the art of anticipation and crafting robust contingency plans, you empower your organization to weather any storm, emerging stronger and more secure. Embrace the challenge and transform potential vulnerabilities into strategic advantages. This meticulous identification process serves as the bedrock upon which a resilient contingency plan is built. It transforms abstract threats into tangible challenges, allowing for targeted mitigation strategies. Contingency plans must encompass a spectrum of potential disruptions, from cyber attacks and data breaches to natural disasters and human error. This demands a holistic approach. Each plan should be meticulously documented, regularly tested, and rigorously updated to reflect the evolving threat landscape and organizational changes. Regular simulations and tabletop exercises are not just best practices, but essential training grounds honing the team's ability to respond effectively under pressure. Beyond the technical intricacies, contingency planning fosters a culture of resilience. It empowers your team to face adversity with confidence, knowing they have a well-defined plan to guide them. It transforms fear into preparedness, uncertainty into action. This proactive mindset not only mitigates risks, but also enhances trust among stakeholders, demonstrating a commitment to safeguarding their interests. In the realm of information security and cybersecurity, contingency planning is not merely a technical exercise. It's a strategic imperative. It's an investment in resilience, a testament to your organization's commitment to safeguarding its future. By mastering the art of anticipation and crafting robust contingency plans, you empower your organization to weather any storm, emerging stronger and more secure. Embrace the challenge and transform potential vulnerabilities into strategic advantages. The cornerstone of effective contingency planning lies in the identification of critical business functions that, if disrupted, would significantly impact the organization's ability to achieve its mission. This process requires both systematic analysis and strategic insight. Incident Response Plans, IRPs An Incident Response Plan, IRP, is a detailed, 
step-by-step guide for how an organization will respond to a cybersecurity incident, such as a data breach, malware infection, or denial-of-service attack. It's a playbook that enables swift and effective action to minimize damage, contain the threat, and restore normal operations. Key elements of an IRP are preparation, identification, containment, eradication, recovery, and post-incident activity. Preparation involves establishing the necessary resources, tools, and procedures before an incident occurs. This includes defining roles and responsibilities, setting up communication channels, and conducting regular training. Identification is detecting and recognizing that an incident has occurred. This requires robust monitoring systems, clear reporting procedures, and mechanisms for triaging potential incidents. Containment is isolating the affected systems or network segments to prevent the incident from spreading. This may involve disconnecting devices, blocking network traffic, or implementing temporary security measures. Eradication is eliminating the root cause of the incident. This could involve removing malware, patching vulnerabilities, or recovering compromised systems. Recovery is restoring affected systems and data to normal operation. This may include restoring from backups, rebuilding systems, or implementing new security measures to prevent recurrence. Post-incident activity is analyzing the incident to identify lessons learned and improve future response efforts. This includes documenting the incident, conducting a root cause analysis, and updating security policies and procedures. Disaster Recovery Plans, DRPs A Disaster Recovery Plan, DRP, focuses on restoring IT infrastructure and operations after a major disruption, such as a natural disaster, fire, or significant hardware failure. It outlines the procedures and resources needed to recover critical systems and data at an alternate location or using redundant resources. Key elements of a DRP include scope and objectives, recovery strategies, roles and responsibilities, testing and exercises and maintenance and updates. In scope and objective systems are defined, applications and data are covered by the plan, as well as the desired recovery time frames. Recovery strategies involves identifying alternative processing sites, e.g. hot, warm, or cold sites, backup and restoration procedures, and strategies for recovering network infrastructure and communication systems. The roles and responsibilities require assigning specific tasks to personnel during the recovery process, including activating the plan, coordinating recovery efforts, and communicating with stakeholders. Testing and exercises for regularly testing the DRP to ensure its effectiveness and identify any gaps or weaknesses. This may involve conducting simulations, tabletop exercises, or full-scale recovery drills. Maintenance and updates keeps the DRP up to date with changes in IT infrastructure, business operations, and recovery strategies. This includes reviewing the plan periodically and updating it. Communication plans. A communication plan is a vital component of any contingency plan, outlining how information will be disseminated to stakeholders before, during, and after a disruption. It ensures that employees, customers, partners, and other relevant parties are kept informed of the situation, the organization's response, and any potential impact on their operations. Key elements of a communication plan include stakeholder identification, communication objectives, communication channels, communication protocols, message templates, contact information for all key stakeholders. Conclusion From Planning to Organizational Resilience By developing and implementing these four essential plans, incident response, disaster recovery, business continuity, and communication, organizations can significantly enhance their resilience and ability to weather any storm. These plans provide a roadmap for navigating disruptions, minimizing damage, and ensuring continued operation of critical business functions. Effective contingency planning transcends mere compliance. It becomes competitive advantage. Organizations with mature contingency capabilities demonstrate to customers, partners, and stakeholders that they can weather storms that might cripple less prepared competitors. By methodically identifying critical functions and developing comprehensive response strategies, security professionals don't just protect assets. They enable their organizations to thrive amidst uncertainty. In a world where disruption is inevitable, 
Contingency planning transforms potential crises into opportunities to demonstrate organizational strength and commitment to mission fulfillment. The most resilient organizations recognize that contingency planning isn't a one-time project, but an ongoing discipline, continuously refined through testing, learning, and adaptation. Through this commitment to preparedness, they build not just security protocols, but a culture of resilience that permeates every aspect of their operations. In an increasingly unpredictable world, disruptions aren't a matter of if, but when, from cyber attacks to natural disasters, power outages to pandemic-related challenges, organizations face countless threats to their operations. The difference between those that quickly recover and those that suffer lasting damage often comes down to preparation. Business continuity plans, BCPs, and disaster recovery plans, DRPs, are your organization's insurance policies against the unexpected. They provide structured frameworks for maintaining essential functions during disruptions and methodically restoring operations afterward. Yet despite their critical importance, many organizations still treat them as optional or mere compliance checkboxes. The cost of this oversight is staggering. According to recent studies, downtime can cost enterprises hundreds of thousands of dollars per hour. Beyond the immediate financial impact, disruptions damage customer trust, employee morale, and market position, intangible assets that took years to build but could be destroyed in moments. As security professionals, you understand these risks better than most. You've witnessed firsthand how preparation creates resilience. You know that recovery begins long before disaster strikes. Now is the time to champion these critical safeguards within your organizations. Implementing comprehensive BCPs and DRPs isn't just prudent risk management. It's a competitive advantage. Organizations with mature continuity strategies recover faster, minimize losses, and often emerge stronger from challenges that cripple their less prepared competitors. Don't wait for the next crisis to expose vulnerabilities in your systems. Take action today to assess your current preparedness, identify critical gaps, and develop robust plans that will carry your organization through whatever challenges tomorrow brings. The security of your organization's future depends on the actions you take today. Make business continuity and disaster recovery planning a priority. Because when disruption inevitably occurs, preparation will make all the difference. Stay prepared. Stay informed. Want to dive deeper into business continuity and disaster recovery strategies? Subscribe to our YouTube channel today. Join our community of security professionals and gain access to weekly expert tutorials on BCP and DRP implementation, real-world case studies of successful recovery strategies, breaking news on emerging threats and mitigation techniques. Click the subscribe button now and hit the notification bell to ensure you never miss our latest content on protecting your organization's most critical assets. Your proactive approach today Thank can you save so your organization tomorrow. Mm -hmm.